The topic of this video is solving quadratic equations in function notation. Let's look at a problem. Suppose that f of x equals x squared plus 6x minus 7. Solve f of x equals negative 7 for x. Okay, so the number one mistake that students make when they solve this problem is they look at this part and they assume that they have to replace all of the x's with negative 7. And that is not true. The reason why that is not true is because x and f of x mean different things. x is the input to a function. f of x is the output. Therefore, it is a value for y. So what is the correct way to solve this problem? Well, it's actually pretty easy. This tells me that f of x equals negative 7. And here's an f of x. So replace that f of x with negative 7. Put this in here. So we get negative 7 equals x squared plus 6x minus 7. Then we need to, as the instructions say, solve for x. Okay, so the way we're going to solve for x is we're going to get all terms on one side with 0 on the other. So let's add 7 to both sides. Then we have 0 equals x squared plus 6x. We'll solve by factoring. The GCF is x, and when we take it out, we have an x times an x plus 6. By the zero product property, either the first factor is the zero, or the second factor is the zero, or both. So we'll set them both to be equal to zero. This one, there's no algebra involved. We just get x is zero. This one, we subtract 6 on both sides, and we get x is equal to negative 6. Putting these together gives us our final solution to this problem, 0, negative 6. Notice the use of braces here. Braces are used to indicate that there are a countable number of answers. There are two answers, 1, 2, and that's why we use braces. When there are not a countable number of answers, for example, an infinite number of answers, that is when brackets and parentheses are used to create an interval. But in this problem, we have braces for our answer because there are countably many answers. There are two answers, 0 and negative 6.